A local organization has made a positive impact helping our foster youth realize dreams and provide stable, loving homes for children in transition. And by working with our wonderful community as a whole, it's providing assistance to over 300 foster youth and families. And I'm talking about Fostering Connections. And here to tell us more about its mission and big event, Night of the Arts, is Rob Thomas. He's a board chair and financial advisor with Edward Jones and Lori Pugh Markham, a board member and events chair. Welcome to First Coast Living. Thank you for having Thank us, Mike. Good to see you both. And I tell you what, we'll start uh, with Rob. Uh, we're talking about the mission of Fostering Connections. Can you tell us more about that? So Fostering Connections is about caring for foster families and creating a better tomorrow for those families. We want to provide essential services and opportunities for these foster children so that they can experience the things that many other kids aren't able to, to enjoy. Well, we take a lot of things for granted, right? Uh, for kids, you think of kids need school supplies, and need clothes. You filled a need in this community, a big need back in 2019. Can you tell us more about that? Absolutely. In 2019, our founder, Aubrey Simpson Gotham, she uh, founded the organization, and it is. It's to fill that gap for these foster children. We've provided everything from technology, uh, such as laptops for foster children. We've even provided cars for uh, uh, older foster children who have uh, the ability to drive and needed yes. transportation. We've provided uh, school books and, and needed essentials for them also. Mm -hmm. So we've done a lot of things in the community with these foster children to kind of fill that gap for their care. Very good. And then the part of your organization, the big part of it is volunteerism, advocacy, and fundraising. I mean, we've got to keep this going. It's been such a positive impact. So Lori, Tell us about the Night of the Arts. Sure, so yes. our event showcases local art. Uh -huh. uh, we'll have live artist painting. We'll have a fashion show. We have a immersive 360 room. Tell me about that. What is an yes. immersive 360? Yes, so it, you're just surrounded from floor to ceiling, okay. video screens, and mm -hmm. we'll be showing AI generated artwork and videos. Wow, okay. Yes, yes, and we'll have dance performances, of course, we'll have silent auction, live auction, food and beverage. So food and beverage. You, you got know, it. You know I'm with food. I know, it's your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and your favorite part last year? Oh, I would say the live painting because I am not artistic, so uh -huh. I love Me either. seeing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely love seeing their process and how it all comes together. Very good. And what does this go towards? So for folks showing up, you said it gives you a, a, a good feeling when you leave yes. because you know it's going towards something great. That's right. You're going to feel inspired, but all the funds that we raise go to our different programs. So a big flagship program for us is Career Readiness, okay. in which uh, children in foster care or have been affected by foster care right. can go to the Career Academy, learn financial management, how to apply for a job. They do job shadowing, mm -hmm. uh, and they really learn how to work together as a team. I could tell you that my teen uh, by herself needs that training, so it's really right. integral to their success. And so often, uh, children and teens uh, aging out of the foster care system, they feel so identified by their trauma. Mm -hmm. So this gives them something to look forward to their future in planning and not looking back, and we want to make them feel empowered and supported. Right, that, that's a, a wonderful thing you do for them. And, and Rob, uh, I tell you firsthand, you've seen how this organization has helped others and even you personally. A absolutely, absolutely. Um, so four of my six children were adopted through foster care. Uh, my life has been affected through foster care and it's been a wonderful opportunity. I know uh, firsthand the needs of these kids when they're in this situation. Very good. And if for folks that want to help out, you know, we've got the Night of the Arts coming up. That's big. So what are other ways we can help? So what we ask uh, individuals, if they can, and, and small businesses, there's a few ways. You can attend the event, obviously, buy a ticket. It's going to be a great evening. You can donate, whether that's through monthly donations or if they feel led, maybe donating something to our silent auction. Also sponsorship, small businesses, the sponsorships start uh, at a low price at $250, which includes tickets to the event, and then also, like you mentioned earlier, volunteering for these events. Very good, and this is just uplifting everybody really in our community. We're talking about the kids, the families, and, and that's what it's about. Absolutely. Okay, well thank you both so much for spreading the word, yes. and the uh, future is bright, right? Okay, so Night of the Arts coming up, and it's actually, when is it? Just for folks, can, they can circle their calendars. May 13th okay. from 6 to 9 Got at it. the link in Nocatee. Done.
Okay, thank you again. Thank and of course, for much more on the Night of the Arts and Fostering Connections, go to our website, firstcoastliving.net.